Welcome to the second annual Pokemon Awards, the show that celebrates everything this franchise and community had to offer over the last year. I'm your host, Ron, and thank you once again for tuning in to the annual Pokemon Awards. Last year's show was spectacular. I've never been more proud of anything on my channel. So I'm immensely happy that I can produce another year's worth of awards to celebrate what was a record-breaking year for Pokemon. Two main series games in one year? I mean, there are so many aspects to Hisui and Paldea to talk about, and even more content to celebrate and art by fans to showcase. A few months ago, I posted a poll on YouTube and Twitter, as well as asked a bunch of Pokemon YouTubers and creators to help create nominees for 20 different categories, like cutest Pokemon of the year, anime battle of the year, or Pokemon challenge video of the year. We basically found out which Pokemon videos, cards, characters, or episodes were super relevant over the last year or so, and confirmed our nominees. Then I released a final poll to decide the winners of each category. So thank you guys for voting, and thanks to all the wonderful creators who helped present the winners today. I want to stress that a Pokemon character or video wasn't nominated if they weren't relevant in any sort of Pokemon related media over the last year. The nominees were already confirmed by February 1st, so anything released after that it could be considered for next year's show. But that can only happen if you like and share this video to the rest of the world. I mean, with your polite feedback, I I'm sure we can make next year's show even better. Make sure to stay till the end of the video where we announce categories that you've all been waiting for, like the prestigious Pokemon of the Year. But let's kick the show off with the cutest Pokemon of the year. Please give a warm welcome to PM7. The number one aspect of Pokemon that immediately draws in fans is the prospect of befriending these adorable little monsters and watching them grow and evolve. Cute Pokemon are at the forefront of marketing for any new generation of Pokemon, and considering we got just that this year, it only makes sense to begin with these Pokemon. The nominees for cutest Pokemon are... Satoddle Bloodsire Fido. Way Coco. Sprigatito. Tinkaton. Mousehold. And last but not least, Smoliv. And the award for the cutest Pokemon of the year goes to. Claude Sire! Ugh. Honestly thought it would be one of the smaller adorable Pokemon, but you don't have to be tiny to be the most adorable Pokemon out there. And you know what, Quagsire? You had a great run, but I think it's time for a new Wooper evolution to get some time in the spotlight. Now to introduce the Pokemon Video Game Character of the Year. Please welcome Pokemon Power Couple, Ace Trainer Liam and Terra Star. As each generation passes, Pokemon characters become more and more prominent within the games. Pokemon Legends Arceus and Generation 9 have given us some of the best written and most popular characters in the franchise. Whether it be for their skill in battle, a successful character arc, or simply their design. The nominees for the Video Game Character of the Year are... Arvin! Nimona! Larry! Ingo! Volo! Penny! Adamant and Iono and the video game character of the year is Arvin which is proper good because Arvin's entire story in Scarlet and Violet makes that game what it is. It really is. does if you've not played it I'm not going to spoil it but it is worth playing just for him. You will cry and you will cry hard. And now to present our newest award, Shiny Pokemon of the Year. Please welcome the teacher of tutorials, the guy for guides, Philly Beats You. Shiny Pokemon are the rarest Pokemon in existence. In fact, entire niches of our community dedicate their heart and soul to hunting these different palette Pokemon. With Generation 9 that has just come out, there are a ton more Pokemon out there for people to hunt. Here are the nominees for Shiny Pokemon of the Year. Satitan. Cloth, Coridon, Relor, Tarantula, Hisuian Bravery, Hisuian Zororark, Chi Yu. And the shiny Pokemon of the year is. Isuian Zororark! 
this is actually not a surprise. I think this is one of the coolest Pokemon that has come out. The little purple on it is fantastic. So it's no surprise to me that Hisuian Zoroark has won. Make sure to check out our next presenter, Leonhardt, as he steps into the ring with Crank Gameplays at iDubbbz Creator Clash. This event where your favorite online creators duke it out to raise money for charities like the Humane Society and American Heart Association is sure to be spectacular. But today, he'll merely present the Pokemon card of the year. Here is Leonhardt. Pokemon cards are such a recognizable part of this franchise. Whether they've completed your decks, finished off your collections, or simply had breathtaking artwork, some Pokemon cards garnered more attention than the others. And over the years, Pokemon cards have only become more elaborate and praiseworthy. Here are the nominees for Pokemon Card of the Year. Giratina V. Orangaroo. Zekrom. Lugia V. Zacian V. Miriam. Hisuian Zorarg V Star. Arceus V Star. And the Pokemon card of the year is Arceus V Star. From the hit game to being in one of the most playable decks, how could you not love Arceus? Oh, there's arguably being the most powerful Pokemon of all time. That helps. Congrats, Arceus. It's now time for the competitive portion of our show to introduce the Pokemon move of the year. Show some love for Tyranitar too. Pokemon moves are literally how Pokemon is played. No moves, no Pokemon game. And along with the new generation, Scarlet and Violet have introduced a plethora of new moves for us to play with. Whether it be their brilliant move animation or their usefulness to competitive battling, the following moves have made us press A the most. The nominees for Move of the Year are Population Bomb, Revival Blessing, Rage Fist, Torch Song, Make It Rain. Last Respects, Flower Trick, Gigaton Hammer, and the move of the year is Gigaton Hammer. Hey, I knew it! Rip to all the Corviknights, but a necessary sacrifice. Big up Gigaton Hammer, Tinkaton the Goat. Now, to present the award for Ability of the Year, please give a warm welcome to the Sultan of Singles, Pokeaim MD. Pokemon abilities have become one of the most important aspects of Pokemon battling since their introduction 20 years ago. A good ability can make a huge difference when it comes to a Pokemon's competitive viability. Over the last year, a ton of new abilities have become household names. Here are the nominees for Ability of the Year. Good as Gold Supreme Overlord Commander Zero to Hero Purifying Salt Intimidate That's not a new ability Opportunist Protosynthesis And ability of the year is Zero to Hero Palafin, I knew you could do it Everybody thought you were Clark Kent But we all knew inside you were Superman Congratulations to introduce the award for the competitive Pokemon of the year, please welcome the queen of casting herself, Necra. Perhaps the most important aspect of the franchise is the ability to train up a diverse team of Pokemon. There are an infinite number of strategies available when you're creating a balanced team, but year after year there are certain Pokemon that rise above the rest and become stars. Whether it's an underdog Pokemon that's able to take out a powerhouse, or a Pokemon that wields an incredibly unique ability. With a new generation of Pokemon, you never know what you're going to get. And with the inclusion of Scarlet and Violet, we have seen some creative team strategies and some unique Pokemon rise to the occasion. Here are your nominees for Competitive Pokemon of the Year. Don Dozo Golden Go Palafin 
Murkrow, Zashian, Mousehold, Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and the competitive Pokemon of the year is Golden Go. Golden Go has had a prolific experience in the competitive scene for VGC, not only because of its signature ability, Good as Gold, which makes it immune to status moves, as well as its signature move, Make It Rain, a double target steel type attack that's able to dish out some huge damage. Once again, congratulations to Golden Go, your competitive Pokemon of the year. Now to showcase the Pokemon meme of the year, make some noise for Patters. Whether you encountered them first on Reddit, Twitter, or a meme compilation reaction video, I'm sure you can't get enough of those wonderful Pokemon memes. And the last two Pokemon main series games have been meme factories. There are loads of memes containing some kind of Pokemon reference, but only a few Pokemon meme formats come from the Pokemon community online. The following meme formats either exploded this year or stayed relevant enough to still be enjoyed. Here are the nominees for Pokemon meme of the year. Tinkerton. Tweet like Pokemon were real. Nomona Goku. Weed Cats. Live Wo Chen reaction. Scarlet and Violet glitches. Lechonk. And Aggressive Paris. And the Pokemon meme of the year is. Tinkerton! Wow, that's a surprise right there. I thought it was going to be Lechonk, but Tinkerton is awesome. I'm a huge fan of that. Just the idea that something's going to sit there and smack Corviknights. I think that's hilarious considering how big and Corviknight is. Tinkerton, well deserved. I love Tinkerton. There's some Tinkerton haters out there, but just know that you lost this time. Tinkerton wins. And now to begin our music portion of the day by introducing the award for Pokemon Music Theme of the Year. Please welcome the most prolific musician in the online Pokemon community, Glitch X City. The music in Pokemon plays an important role in the series and is very special to me. The Route 4 theme from the Kanto region is honestly one of my favorites, even though it gets overplayed about 70% of the time. The music is the most consistent aspect of Pokemon, and this year is no exception. Here are the nominees for Pokemon Music Theme of the Year. Jubilee Village Battle Team Star Boss Origin Dialka in Palkia. Area Zero. Battle Cassiopeia <laughs> The Heartwood Battle Pokemon Wielder Volo
in Battle AI Professor. And the Pokemon music theme of the year is... Battle AI Professor. The theme was originally composed and arranged by Toby Fox and it plays at a very pivotal point in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So congratulations to the Battle AI Professor theme. Now to usher in the award for Pokemon Music Cover of the Year, please welcome the following lover of baskets and rap, hoops and hip hop. Pokemon covers and remixes have been around since musicians first started picking up and playing the Pokemon games. Video game music is something that needs to be celebrated because honestly, it's amazing, and there are a ton of talented artists out there who have created meticulously crafted renditions of our favorite Pokemon tracks. Be sure to let us know in the comments below if any of these matched the overall quality of the originals or possibly even surpassed them, and be sure to fully check all of these out as well. Here are the nominees for Pokemon Cover of the Year. Penny Battle Theme Metal Cover by Family Jewel. Sub-Zero, Area Zero, Metal Cover by J Theory. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Music Medley by Dr. Pez VGM. Battle Team Star Boss by Ga Metal. Route 209 Viola Piano Cover by X Classical Cat X Joanna. Jubilife Village Emo Rock Guitar Cover by Fuzz Pixels. Little Root Town Acoustic Fingerstyle Guitar Cover by Harley Guio Guitar. And the Pokemon cover of the year is... Penny Battle Theme Metal Cover by Family Jewels. I feel like the Penny Battle Theme translates really well to metal, and Family Jewels honestly knocked it out of the park on their production and overall performance of this piece. Hey everyone, Family Jewels here. Uh, thank you guys so much for voting for uh, my Penny's theme cover from Pokemon Scarlet Violet as best cover of the year. Um, I really appreciate it. Pokemon music is some of my favorite music to cover out of like any video game. Uh, so the fact that it's still reaching you guys means uh, the world to me. Um, I got a little Pokemon here, a little shiny. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely check out all of the other covers that uh, were up for this. They're all amazing. Um, and thank you again. 
And now, to present the award for Pokemon Remix of the Year, it's、uh, me, Ron. Pokemon remixes are a huge part of the online Pokemon community. Whether you've heard them in the background of your favorite videos or streams, or have actively followed some of these wonderful and amazing music artists, I'm sure you have a favorite Pokemon remix that has brought you immeasurable joy. I personally have like a thousand that have become the soundtrack to my life. So if you're looking to add a few more remixes to your playlist, make sure to check out all the following remixes after the show. Here are the nominees for Remix of the Year Mesa Goza Remix by Alter Loy. Alabaster Icelands Remix by Vanillix Pavilion. Area Zero Remix by Voop. Encounter Champion Cynthia by Mumor. Diaga and Palkia Origin Form Remix by Glitch X City. Elite Four Battle Theme by Steven Mix. Sada and Turo Battle Theme Remix by Taehyun. Route 209 by Garrison Shi. And the remix of the year is. Diaga and Palkia Origin Form by Glitch X City. What's funny is that when this remix came out, I actually commented on the video saying it was like the best remix of the year, and I didn't even remember doing that until I was listening to this remix again while I was making this video. So, congratulations, Glitch. You've done it once again. Thank you guys so much for the award.、Um, Pokemon music has been a very important puzzle piece in my life, and I'm actually really, really happy that I'm able to share my passion with everyone else who's a Pokemon fan. With the Dialga and Palkia origin form battle theme,、uh, when I first heard it in my playthrough, I'm like, wait a second? That, that's, just, that's just the original, but double timed. And so when I actually went through the remix, it took me about three or four days to get through it. I even got a chance to sneak in some、uh, Sword and Shield、uh, Gym Leader battle theme in it. And I think it turned out fantastically. So,、uh, thank you guys so much once again for the award. And honestly, thank you guys so much for still listening to me after all these years. And now to introduce the nominees for Shiny Reaction of the Year. Please react to the rare and elusive Candy Eevee. Finding a shiny Pokemon can be a magical experience. From its humble beginning, shiny hunting has truly taken the Pokemon community by storm. And fans and creators alike will invest a lot of time into finding these sparkly guys. The most entertaining shiny reaction can stem from the difficulty and length of the hunt, or if the person just has a funny reaction. So, here are the nominees for Shiny Reaction of the Year Full Odd Shiny Alpha Eevee by Silver Beanie. Yo! 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 Full Odd Shiny Eevee Alpha! What? When the Shiny Catches You Off Guard by Gage Perez. 
When did that spawn, bro? What? When did that spawn? Oh my god! Three shiny rufflets in the same outbreak by Sauce McGavin. Whoa, there it is, baby! Let's go! Back to back! Back to back! Oh my god! Oh my god! A three for one special? What? When you need God to help you find shinies by Patters. God, I will give you $20 if you give me a shiny right now. Nope, I would offer my soul, but I'm ginger. What? I need another God. Eminem. Hey, Rathgar, what's up? Wait, 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 where's the shiny? Back to the lab again. There's a shiny in the lab in the cave? Come on, let's go. Look how far away this cave is. Wait, so oh, he was right. Yes, there was a shiny in the cave. He was right. Thank you, Eminem. Three segment shiny to Dunsparce by Nomi. Number 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's 50! Oh my god! <laughs> I found every disguise shiny in Pokemon Violet by the Supreme Arcanines. I can't run from it! Dude, I should have saved! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> when the first Terra Pokemon of the game is shiny by Oliver MKP. Ooh, Terra Jiggly. Oh! Oh! That's a shiny! What? No way! Dude! Shiny Jiggly, but what? The first. That's the first Terra! The first white Terramon, and it's shiny? And Big Puffer scripts his shinies by Little Puffer. Here's what's gonna happen. If I go through the 30 minutes of this sandwich and I don't get a shiny Sneasel, or... Oh my gosh, I got a shiny Sneasel. And the shiny reaction of the year is... When you need God to help you find shinies by patterns. Uh, sometimes the need for a shiny is so great that you gotta call for divine intervention. And it looks like Patters' prayers were answered. Congrats on winning this category, but more importantly, congrats on the shiny. Hi, I'd like to say thank you for awarding me the shiny reaction of the year. There were a lot of other content creators with wonderful shiny reactions, and if you're hunting out there every day, good luck to you. But I'd also like to thank someone very special to me, and I couldn't have won this award without them. Thank you, Eminem. I truly could not have done it without you. It is now time for Pokemon Challenge Video of the Year, but it's not that challenging to welcome our next presenter. Put your hands together for United Plays. 2021 was the year of the Pokemon Challenge Video, but 2022 was where various content creators took that popular genre to a whole new level. Some of the most viewed videos in the gaming community have consisted of YouTubers and streamers trying to successfully complete a Pokemon game under certain conditions. Basically, we're all getting really old and we're trying to take a game we loved as a kid and try to make it impossible possible to beat. And it continues to be the number one genre of Pokemon videos. Here are your nominees for the Pokemon Challenge Video of the Year. How I beat the hardest Pokemon game ever made by Pokemon Challenges. That is not good. Yes! We're going to Steven! I caught every shiny Pokemon before each gym by Johnstone. All right, so uh, I got Squirtle in 144 encounters. I think this is the 145th. Oh, wait, did I mess this up? Oh no. Are you still here? Please. Yeah, so let me explain. Basically, this game has a bug where if two Pokemon are close to each other and you try to encounter one of them, there's a chance that you'll get out of that battle and the other Pokemon will have despawned. Can you beat Pokemon Black with only level one Pokemon by Point Crow? Siglyph has the ability Magic Guard which means that it can only be defeated by damage through attacks. And as you've seen so far, we don't have many attacking moves. This is the perfect counter to our insane strategy. Pokemon, but the world has no color by Nokimon. I see it, I think. It's that one on the right. That one looks a little bright. Okay, that one's definitely brighter. If I can just snipe it with a ball. Do not run, stay. We're gonna check with the professor. Yes, sir. 
Pokemon, but our moves are completely random by PM7. Hi, Aqua Grunts. If you ruin my day, I will go running to my mommy. No! Blaze again! Why would you lunar dance? Yes, Blaze again! No. I think we'll be okay. Mikey, things are not going well for us. They were going completely smoothly, and now I am in a sticky pickle. <laughs> I don't know if I said sticky pickle. <laughs> <laughs> if I laugh, a Pokemon dies in Pokemon Scarlet by Purple Cliff. All right, so we're going to play a little game. What kind of game? Who is this? Miku. Who is this? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one. Recreating Twitch Plays Pokemon by Alpharad. If the Pokemon's anatomy allows it to wear a jacket, like a hoodie, it's furry bait. Technically, Sudo Udo can wear a jacket. I stand by what I said. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much. I took this a little too serious. And the Pokemon Challenge video of the year goes to... John Stone with I caught every shiny Pokemon before each gym. <laughs> Round of applause. Round of applause. I actually do know John Stone personally, and for over a year, the only thing any of us friends could ask him was, how is that video coming along? As he spent an unhealthy amount of hours trying to complete it. So congratulations to him and to all the nominees. Thank you, Dylan and Ron, for the kind words. What a wonderful trophy. Also, what a wonderful audience out here today. This is the second greatest award that I've ever received, only rivaled by my middle school track meet where I came in seventh place for discus, but this is definitely a close second. Um, if anyone's interested, I'll be having a celebration party at my local Ruby Tuesdays, which I'll be putting on screen right now. Uh, there'll be cake, ice cream, but most importantly, gaming. I remember when I was seven, my mom would always tell me that I couldn't possibly catch every Pokemon and Shiny and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and condense that down into a one hour, 17 minute and 45 second video, but here we are. Thank you. Pokemon Video of the Year is a coveted award, and no other creator is more appropriate to present this category. Give it up for the father of Poketubing himself, Jay Witz. Fitting for this franchise, the Pokemon YouTube world has evolved in incredible ways. Heck, when I first started making content, videos were limited to 10 minutes max, and the best quality was 480p. It was considered impressive if you owned a microphone? And it was a really big deal if you could capture gameplay footage at all. It was a dark time. Now, the best Pokemon videos are intricately researched documentaries, professional events, breathtaking animations, and more. Today's videos take everything that we love and even hate about the Pokemon franchise and elevate its stories and lore to a brand new level. Here are the nominees for Pokemon Video of the Year. The Food Chain by Too Many Snacks. I opened a real life Pokemon gym by Wolfie VGC. Inside, challengers will face off against three professional trainers in order to win a chance to play against me, the gym leader. I created the most powerful Pokemon by Asteroid Videos. Maybe I should make all my moves multi-hitting and also spread moves. That way it breaks through Focus Ash and it can knock out multiple targets at once. What if he has priority? Okay, I'll make all my moves priority. And I have the fastest speed stat in the game, so I'm guaranteed. Pokemon's original National Dex Controversy by Tamahiro. If you had Emerald and your little brother just got leaf green and you're like seven years old and you have no idea about the trade restrictions because your parents don't know anything about the games they got you, these are the only two games you have and you can't trade until both of you beat the game. It's really funny to read back in the Cerebi forums from 2005 and see little kids posting like, why can't I trade with my brother? Pokemon Battle Royale Ultra Beasts by Terminal Montage. <laughs> There's more story in Pokemon Legends Arceus than you realize, by Taco. That's the thing. You are either Don or Lucas from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. You've done this before. That's why Arceus chose you. Pokemon Legends Arceus is actually a sequel to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Pokemon Red Full Game Animation by Pedro Araujo.
And the Pokemon video of the year is... I opened a real-life Pokemon gym by Wolfie VGC. Not only was it a huge in-person live event that brought people from all over the country to it, but it was just this great mix between casual fandom, people who hadn't engaged in the series for a long time, and people that played the game competitively. And at the end of the day, I think the big thing that brings us all together in this franchise is just that it's pretty dang fun. Hello, and thank you. Uh, this is a really big honor for me. I feel very fortunate to be part of this community, and I'm really happy that everybody loved the gym video. Uh, it was a lot of fun to work on. Um, I think for me, if there's one thing that I wanted to say, it's that I think that Pokemon has come a long way in the last couple years, especially in the last year, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Um, I know so many of us within the community are working hard to push the space forward, do things that are different, exciting, and new, and um, I think the gym video was one of those one of those videos that that did that and i can't wait to see what everybody else does and to continue trying to push the envelope forward myself thanks again congrats to everybody that was nominated it was a blockbuster year for pokemon fan content as a whole and i cannot wait to see the way that everyone continues to elevate this franchise and tell brand new stories in the future to come to begin our anime portion of the show here is one fifth of the pokemon champion league podcast jpr poke trainer 98 the Pokemon anime is the perfect way to fall in love with the characters that belong to this franchise. The way they're developed over entire arcs is incredibly satisfying for longtime fans, and the last year has been especially significant in showcasing important milestones that beloved characters have achieved. Here are the nominees for Anime Character of the Year. Ash Ketchum Leon Cynthia Gary Oak. Go. And the anime character of the year is... Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Can anybody disagree with this? I mean, 25 years in the making, the boy finally becomes a world champion. I don't see how anybody could possibly disagree with this. Ash Ketchum, congratulations, you've finally done it. You are anime character of the year. Now to introduce the Anime Battle of the Year, please welcome the man whose footage I actually showed to other presenters so they knew exactly how I want them to film their segments, Lumio's Trainer Zack. With the culmination of Ash's story, this year has arguably been the most exciting when it comes to on-screen battles of the Pokemon anime. New and old characters have come together to face Ash and each other in historic battles that I'm sure we're going to be talking about for many more years to come. Here are the nominees for Pokemon Anime Battle of the Year. Iris vs. Cynthia Ash vs. Paul Ash vs. Marnie Ash vs. Cynthia Ash vs. Leon And the anime battle of the year is... Ash vs. Leon Was it gonna be any other battle? This battle was honestly fantastic, truly the culmination of Ash and Pikachu's journey throughout the 26 years of the Pokemon anime. Lots of references, lots of cameos, spectacular animation, and the best looking battle the Pokemon anime has ever had. Congratulations Ash vs Leon, truly well deserving of the best Pokemon anime battle of 2022. And now to present the award for anime episode of the year, say hello to the appropriately named Steph of Anime. Pokemon has had some amazing episodes over what I confidently say is the most historic year for the Pokemon anime. Whether it be fan favorite characters returning, highly anticipated battles, or the climax of decade spanning arcs, I'm sure the following episodes have been some of your favorites during this show's entire run. Here are the nominees for anime episode of the year. The Homecoming Crown. Friends, rivals, lend me your spirit. The final spore, partner. Catching the aura of fate. Bewitch, battle, and bewilder. And the anime episode of the year is, drum roll! The final spore, partner. 
gosh, when this episode came out, it was trending on Twitter for days. After all of these years following Ash's journey, he becomes the Pokemon World Champion. If you weren't crying, you were jumping up and down in your seat cheering. Oh, I honestly can't think of a better way to close this chapter of Pokemon history and make space for new adventures in all the years to come. Now presenting the Fakemon of the Year is YouTube's curator of Fakemon, Pragmagic. The designs of Pokemon have been inspiring fan artists for decades. And in turn, the Fakemon that they've created have successfully captured the imagination of our community by giving us a glimpse at the near limitless possibilities that this franchise provides us. With the onset of a new generation, we have most definitely seen a big boom of fan art and speculation over the last year. So with that said, here are the nominees for Fakemon of the Year. Sirenova by Vergolifus. Vladicrab by Subjectively. Okaparel by True Green 7. Iron Synthesis by Bulby Boy. Snagui by Loxton. Emperor Rooster by RJ Palmer. Baritoad by Vishmons. Paracilla by Dark Sylvania. And the Fakemon of the Year is. Iron Synthesis by Bulby Boy. Congratulations! This just goes to show that whether a design is 2D or 3D, a great Fakemon design speaks for itself and can resonate with our community. And now to introduce the coolest Pokemon of the year, please welcome a pretty cool guy too, Birdkeeper Toby. It's pretty obvious by now that most people enjoy the Pokemon that they perceive as the coolest. And I think it's fantastic that everyone has a different idea of exactly what the coolest Pokemon look like. The fact that we get to travel alongside with and train with these fantastical creatures is part of the reason that we love them so much. So here are the nominations for this year's coolest Pokemon. Low Kicks. Annihilate. Cerulege. Tinkerton, Coridon, Maridon, Roaring Moon, and Iron Valiant. And the coolest Pokemon of the year is. Cerulege. And this just makes total sense to me because I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not usually one to like the generically cool Pokemon, but even I was overwhelmed by how just edgy and cool Cerulege is. And finally, the prestigious Pokemon of the Year. To present the nominees and winner of this award, put your noggins together for Loxton. Now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I mean, this is literally why we've stuck with Pokémon for as long as we have. The Pokémon themselves! Pokémon of the Year is a prestigious title that goes to the Pokémon that has brought Pokémon fans the most amount of entertainment over the last year. Which Pokémon will prevail? The coolest? The most influential? The funniest? Cutest? Or perhaps simply the one that had become our best friend the most? Here are the nominees for Pokémon of the Year. The Mythic Arceus. The rideable legendaries Coridon and Miraidon. The pink pummeler Tinkaton. Thriving in its lane, Claude Sire. The absolute unit, Lechonk. The sharp and spicy Cerulege. And the golden ghoul itself, Pokemon number 1000 Goldengo. The votes are in and tallied, and the Pokémon of the year is... Claude Sire! Yes! Acquire the Sire! Who can resist such a blobby magnificence? Nobody believed Wooper could be perfected any further, and yet, here we are. A round of Claude's for our winner. Congratulations to all our winners! Subscribe for more interactive Pokemon videos like this, and please make sure to check the description for all the links to our fantastic presenters. Make sure to click on the videos on screen to check out all the other True Green 7 videos, and follow True Green 7 on Twitter to know when the next poll will be out for you to participate in. Thank you for watching! I'll see you guys very soon!